Hello, in this video I will show you a new macro I have just published to CodeStack website, which allows you to manage custom properties of SolarWorks files directly from Excel. This macro is using SolarWorks document manager library, which allows to read and write properties in a matter of seconds. Furthermore, you do not need to have SolarWorks installed to run that macro. I would open a couple of SolarWorks part files in eDrawings and check what custom properties are available. So this one has part number and description custom property and another file has different part number and description. Now let's navigate to CodeStack website and download the macro. I need to navigate to the goodies section, custom properties and manage properties in Excel. This macro is based on SolarWorks document manager library. This library is free for SolarWorks customers, but you need to be on SolarWorks subscription in order to retrieve a key. Follow these guides for steps required to obtain the key from SolarWorks customer portal. Key then will be emailed to you by SolarWorks. Let's now copy the code and paste it into the Excel macro. I can access macros in Excel either from a view tab or from the developers tab. Just click macros, give macro a name, you can use any name and click create, paste the code we just copied. In the next step we need to add the reference to SolarWorks document manager library. This library would be installed automatically with the applications such as SolarWorks, SolarWorks eDrawings, SolarWorks PDM. If you don't have either of these applications installed on that computer, you will need to install this manually by installing the SolarWorks Document Manager SDK, which is available in the download files of SolarWorks or from SolarWorks Customer Portal. I have an SDK installed here, so I can just navigate to the references and select SW Document Manager 2020 type library. The final step is to set the license key you have obtained from SolarWorks. Depending on the size of your key, you might run in some limitation of VBA, where the single line cannot contain certain number of symbols. You can look at this article for the solution for this issue. I already have my SolarWorks document manager key, so I'm just going to paste it into the macro. I need to save this document as macro enabled Excel spreadsheet. And this completes the preparation step. Now let's do some property management. I can hold the shift button in order to copy the path to the file and place it into Excel. In Excel formula tab, now there are two additional functions available, get SWPRP and set SWPRP. Let's start with the first one. So first parameter is a file path, second parameter is the name of the property you want to get values from. And you can see as a result the custom property is immediately extracted and placed into the cell. This formula behaves in exact same way as any other formula in Excel. So for example, instead of typing the custom property name, you can just link it to the cell. So for example, instead of part number here, I can just select the B1 cell. I will put the dollar sign against A and B, so when I propagate this cell to the description, it won't change the link. So as you can see, now I have extracted two properties into the two corresponding cells. It should be noted that error will be displayed when trying to read the property which does not exist. So for example, company property does not exist in that model, so there is an error in the value. Now let's perform some batch reading of properties. So we just select all of my SolarWorks part files. Of course you can use assemblies and drawings as well. Click Shift, copy as path and just replace the values of cells here. Now let's just propagate those cells and see the result. And that's it. In just a second, we read two properties from 58 files in SolidWorks. And there were no any tricks used in this video. I haven't speed it up, neither cut it. And my machine is pretty average content creator laptop. You might have a more powerful workstation for SolidWorks. But we can make it twice as fast. In this example, I'm using individual formula per property, which means that each file processed individually for either of those two properties. Although having just this small amount of files with just two properties doesn't have much effect, but if you have thousands of files and maybe dozens of properties, you might see the difference. Let me show you how to do that better. So firstly, I undo my changes and remove the value from the second and third columns. Get SWPRP formula supports a range to specify the names of properties to extract. So in this case, I can specify two properties to be extracted in a batch. Now I can propagate that formula and you can see almost instant result. 
it is actually takes longer to render rather than read. This is how fast it is. In a very similar way, this macro allows to add or update the properties. So let's say we want to add a new property called company and set its value to the company A and set it to all files. To do that, we are going to use set swprp function and it has several parameters. First parameter is a file name, second parameter are properties to set and you can also use range. I'm just going to use dollar sign to lock the columns. These are just Excel related manipulations, they're not specific to this macro. And the third parameter are values and I can also use range. If I use ranges, it is important to make sure that number of columns in the values range equals to the number of columns in the property names range, otherwise errors will be thrown. I can click an OK button and if I see the OK, that means that the property is successfully written. So I can open that part and just validate it. So you can see company now is set to company A. Now we can propagate that formula to write the values to all files in our scope. Writing usually takes a little bit longer, but still just a matter of one or two seconds. Now we have company property added to all files. Let's just validate one random file, so you can see value is here. In a similar way you can batch update properties. So let's say as part of this exercise we're going to change the dash A part of our part number to dash B. At first I want to disconnect the values of my formulas because this got calculated in previous get SWPRP formula. So I'm just going to copy cells and paste them as values. Now whenever I change values in cells it will immediately push those to Solver's custom properties. As you can see two files have failed and it is not immediately clear what the cause of an error. So in order to troubleshoot let's open that macro in VBA editor and we will be able to see the error in the immediate window of VBA editor. If you don't see immediate window you can activate it in the views menu. So you can see it tells it error code is 4 and we can look up that error code on a website to have a more descriptive error of the issue. Let's scroll towards the end of the article and follow the link. As we can see error code 4 means the file is opened read only. In our case we need to write the value to the property and save the file, which means the file needs to be with write access. We have those files opened in the drawings and most likely this is the cause of an error. Let's continue, now I want to replace dash a with dash b, so for that I'm just going to use substitute function of Excel, I need to select the cell I want to substitute, the old text and the new text. I will propagate the cell to apply the formula to all values and just copy the values and paste it into my column. This would automatically trigger recalculations and you can see that now all of the values have been successfully updated in Solar's files. We can open a couple of files to validate the result. So you can see that our part number property has been updated, the same for the second file. This macro also allows to write and read values from the configuration specific properties. So let's create a new property in our default configuration. In order to do that, we simply need to specify the configuration name as the last parameter of the set swprp function. So in this case I use default. Similarly, I can read the properties from the configuration using get swprp function by just specifying the configuration name as the last parameter. So you can see my value has been read. Using the power of Excel and your imagination, you can use a nice customized dashboard to manage your projects in SolidWorks. Leveraging Excel functionality, you can create graphs, validate data or fetch data from different sources. Follow the link in the description of this video to download this macro. Thank you for your time.